That's not a lens you'd use all the time, but when I do use it, the 100 mil macro has got to be one of my favorites. So just for the hell of it, I thought, why not film this whole next little bit all on the 100 mil macro? Welcome back to the glass eye. So I'd never shoot an entire thing at 100 mil, that would be silly, but I thought it'd be interesting to try it out because this 100 mil f2.8 lens, and I did specifically not mention which 100 mil 2.8 lens is, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. I love the focal length because it's, at 100 mils, it's not super versatile, but it is very multi-purpose. And what I mean by that is, first of all, you got the macro feature. So you're getting this really interesting, unique perspective on things that you don't see with your naked eye. So you can even take something boring like a leaf. You throw on the 100 mil macro, add a few water droplets and light it a little bit, and it looks cool. And you can do that with anything. You can do it with your carpet, with your finger, with your eyeball. On top of that, the 100 mil focal length is really great for portraits, you know, because 85 is usually good for portraits, but you can go a little longer at 100 mil. So it's actually a great portrait lens as well. And it's actually a great focal length for shooting cars. When we filmed the Porsche thing with Peter, I actually had the lens with me, so I snapped a few pictures and it's stabilized. So you can shoot handheld video real comfortably and also even do uh, longer exposures for photography. So who's it good for? I think anybody who shoots products primarily. So if you're shooting food or products or cars or portraits, I think this lens is great for that. So the 100 mil macro that I used was the EF version. I know the RF one is out now. I don't know if it's been delivered to people. I haven't checked. The RF one is probably gonna be superior in multiple ways compared to the EF, but the EF one is an amazing lens. And as people start to get their RF versions, I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of the EF ones in the used market. So if you're looking for 100 mil macro and you don't wanna spend as much as a brand new RF cost, maybe wait a month or two and have a feeling there'll be a good amount of EF ones available in the market. I guess that was a short one. Okay, see you next time.